Welcome to another Tips and Tricks. Have you ever needed to talk to your chiller? Could you imagine talking to your chiller? What a concept! This can be done by communicating with third-party devices. What if you wanted your building automation system to talk to a boiler, a chiller, a frequency drive, an air handling unit, or a power meter? In IntelliWeb, you'll notice under Set Point Office, it lists third-party. We'll go down to your third-party device, and in this case here, we're going to talk to a power meter. We're going to click on the Veris Electric Meter so you can see the values associated with the power consumption of the facility. We have our total kilowatt hours, kilowatts, kilowatt per phase, volts per phase, current amps per phase, and total kilowatt hours. This is good information to have, but it's from what's called a third-party device, and they are all listed by default under the third-party tab per site. You can also list it directly with your other controllers. This is done by going into your user access, selecting Users, and scrolling to User Access. Here you can see the option of how you want your third-party information to show up third-party devices in net view. If I uncheck that and save it, they will now show up in the correct numerical order. So if the address is 1, it's going to be at the top. 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are the addresses of my third-party equipment, and you'll notice that my DDC point panels come back in here starting at 20,000. Our third-party devices are now showing up as if they were a regular controller on our network for this particular facility. This concludes our tips and tricks for today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. If you'd like more content like this, let us know in the comments below.